Hello, everybody. Welcome to Fandom Fights. Uh, we have another round two matchup in the Summer Series Tournament. We have Jake Meltzer going up against Brittany Tapley. Uh, Jake now uh, 2-0, and uh, starting out his run in fandom. And uh, Brittany kind of making a splash as well, winning the five-way plan, narrowly losing her first match. But uh, now she's uh, two and one, then, uh, because she got that win she's on her the, record. The five way She's the upset of the tournament so far. Uh, yeah, 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 thirty one seed. Yeah, thirty one round two seed. Yeah, Mister Kane McMillan. She she punched that <laughs> return right down uh, in an excellent match. But yeah, um, I'm looking forward to this one. Two rookies seeing what they can do. What do you think about the match, Nick? Yeah, no, I'm excited. Like, like I said, good good crop of rookies this year overall. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Brittany and Jake are definitely like at, at the top of that crop. Um, so this could be a battle for like rookie of the year potentially. Um, and also, like I said, Brittany's already made an upset um, based on her seeding. She wasn't even expected to be in round two. So she's got nowhere to go but up. Uh, and Jake's one of those people a lot of people, a lot of people have been talking about could make a deep run in both tournaments. So it's exciting. Absolutely. Let's go talk to them right now in the promos. So since my last match, I've uh, ran into a little bit of health problems. Uh, nothing crazy, but enough to put a damper into my uh, study plans. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll see how this goes. But uh, I feel pretty good with what I know and, and what I managed to um, accomplish what I was able to do. Uh, so yeah, and uh, Jake, he's a he's a tough, tough competitor. I've from what I've seen, he's good in the most of the categories, so this should be quite quite the fight for me. Um, I'm going to give it everything I got. I hope I can make uh, Club Dread proud, and yeah, let's do this. Hey, so uh, like Brittany, I am also flying solo, but still repping the faction. Uh, yeah, so with apologies to Kane McMillan, from that match, I was, I was more scared of Brittany. Uh, Kane has done a lot in this league. He was great, but it's it's hard to come back from being away that long. And Brittany was was mowing people down like nobody's business. And I was not shocked to see that she would be my opponent um, because she is scary. And it's been a while since I played fandom, uh, my first round match, uh, but I think that I've put in some work for this one because I know how great of a player Brittany is. And I know I'm going to have my work cut out for me, but hopefully she will too. So uh, Brittany, let's give the people something to talk about this one. Let's give them something to talk about. Let's get into round one. It's going to work like this. There are going to be 10 questions, 10 random categories in the realm of fandom fights. Each question is worth one point a piece. If you get all 10 questions correct, you'll be issued a bonus question. You have three repeats and one challenge for the entirety of the match. Uh, lady and gentlemen, any questions as we get into round number one? No. Nope. All right, Nick, what's question one? Your first question comes in the category of fandom quotes. Which X-Men character said, kill me before I kill someone else? This is uh, not the second part of that quote, but the first part I say pretty much every day. It's fair. So, Understood. Just, just, just kill me now, please. <laughs> before I ask one more question. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Feds down. We're going to start with Jake. Between two, I said Wolverine. And Brittany. Yeah, I put Jean Grey. Jean Grey is correct. Oh, it was not the other one. Okay. <laughs> All right. Your next question is going to be in Mission Impossible. What kind of sporting event does Ambrose take Naya to after they have reconnected in Mission Impossible 2? Um, Nick, I was editing a match. Great. It has yet to be released uh, okay. by the time that this one's released that you solo hosted. And oh, right. you said this movie was just as good as the first one. Yeah, pretty much. Five. That's insane. Four. It's not a, like a huge quality difference, Two. if we're being honest. One. Pens down. Let's start with Brittany. I'm not sure about this, but I put horse racing. And Jake. 
Got it right. I said a soccer match. Horse race is correct. Uh, your third question comes in the category of scores and soundtracks. Which Disney animated film features the songs I Won't Say I'm in Love and A Star is Born? In the sha shallow. Oh, okay. In the sha 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 shallow. Isn't that how it goes? It's a good. It's, Tell me something, girl. Girl. <laughs> Four. Are you happy? Two. two one. <laughs> Pens down, Jake. I literally listened to a song from this movie right before I came on call. Hercules. Uh, and Brittany. Yeah, I put Enchanted. I don't have it. Hercules is correct. We're cutting into that lead. Hercules Zero to Hero, which still rips. Zero to Hero. Yeah. Uh, next one. Disney live action. The, uh, uh, more Disney. Which Disney live action sports film features Eden Hall Academy? Um... Have you ever been to an academy? Uh, the academy? Someone yeah, walked into your room and you're looking at them? No, no, no. There's, I was like having a flashback to the academy. Oh, I see. Five. Yeah. Four. Three. No, I've never been there. Two, one. Pens down. Brittany, we'll start with you. I uh, put D3, the Mighty Ducks. And Jake. D3, the Mighty Ducks. That is correct. Your next question comes from the Wizard World. Who does Hermione bring to Slughorn's Christmas party in the Half Blood Prince? You cut out a, be a bit at the beginning there. Did you both get it? Okay. Yes. You guys are good. Okay. It was like just good. enough that I could see somebody being like, Ooh. so I was like, just making sure. <laughs> it's fair. Five, four, three, two. One. Pens down. Jake, we will start with you. Cormac McLaggen. And Brittany. Cormac McLaggen. Both. Correct. One of my favorite scenes in the franchise. Uh, <laughs> all right. Next question is in YA Dystopia. Who plays Effie Trinket in the Hunger Games series? Um... I don't know if you know this, Nick, but in the Hunger Games series, um, it's kind of dystopian, and there's some young adults featured. No. Yeah, it's crazy. That's a great... Who wouldn't want to live there? Dystopian. <laughs> Two. One. Pens down. Uh, Brittany. Uh, that'd be Elizabeth Banks. And Jake. Elizabeth Banks. Both correct. Keeping pace. Brittany up five to four. Your next question is in the category of Pixar. In Soul, what type of food does Joe get for 22 to eat for the first time in a human body on Earth? All right, so yeah. you're in this situation. You can have one food to like taste for the first time. Uh, or no, this is me. Like I I'm, I'm, haven't eaten anything ever. What do you get me to taste for the first time? Dragon Bowls. Mm, five. I get the reference. Callback from, from two. Yeah, from like a couple questions ago. Yeah. Pens down. Uh, let's start with uh, Jake. Pizza. And Brittany. I also put pizza. And you both would be correct. All right. Your next question is in DreamWorks Animation. In Monsters vs. Aliens. The monsters defeat a giant alien probe at what U.S. landmark? Um, there's lots of U.S. landmarks. Several. We probably shouldn't name any. So no. you want to talk about like Sokovian landmarks? landmarks? Yeah. Okay. I really like that building in Sokovia that like splits in half and then the Get in the tub. Well, pens down. Get in the tub. Uh, let's start with Brittany. Uh, I didn't have it all. I put the White House. It's probably wrong anyway. And Jake. The Golden Gate Bridge. That is correct. So Jake tying it up six to six as we get into the next one. Your penultimate question comes in the category of the worlds of DC. What worlds of DC film features an item created by a god of mischief known as Dolos? Um, 
you're quite mischievous. Oh. Wearing a Star Wars shirt when you like the track. I mean, you, just, you, you miss don't know what it's little boy. You, you can only see Star. You don't know what it says under. That is fair. It says Trek. Five, four, three. Don't, don't two, fact One. <laughs> Pens down. Uh, Jake. Shazam. And Brittany. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I. Yeah, no. <laughs> Uh, both are incorrect. The answer is Wonder Woman 1984. Oh. Uh, that, that great film. All right. Uh, we move on to the final question, which is, Nick, it's your shirt. It's Star Trek. Yeah. <laughs> In The Voyage Home, which two characters travel with Scotty to find materials to construct a tank for the whales aboard the ship? You could bring two people, any two people, okay. living or deceased, with you to build a whale tank. Who do you bring? Oh, well, <laughs> she's obviously uh, King Henry the Eighth. He was big into the whale tanks, um, okay. and then five, probably four, like three. Uh, Zendaya, one pens down or Bono. Uh, <laughs> let's go to Brittany. Pretty sure it's Sulu and Bones and Jake. Yeah, Bones and Sulu. Both are correct. So at the end of round number one, both players playing very well. Seven to seven. Is that what you have, Nick? Yes, sir. All right. So we're going to get into the wheel round. Here's how it's going to work. We're going to bring up the lovely wheel from wheeldecide.com. Each player is going to have a chance to spin that wheel. If they like what they spin the first time, they can keep it, or they can choose to spin again, but they have to keep whatever they spin the second time. Each question is worth two points a piece. Unless, of course, you go to multiple choice, then it will be worth only one. Now, guys, um, normally things are spooky around fandom this season because of horror icons. But it's also spooky because stealing is available in round two. So if you get the question wrong, your opponent could steal it. Be careful. Don't be frightened. Okay. The categories on the wheel this evening are Jimmy Bond. Disney live action, horror icons, Middle Earth, MCU, Star Wars, Wizarding World, and Pixar. Uh, we are tied, but Jake, you are the higher seated player. So, would you like to spin first or defer to Brittany? Um, talked about it with my faction. I really like this wheel, so I will go first. All right, this is going to be the spin for you, Mr. Meltzer. And it lands on Pixar. Would you like to keep it or spin again? Hmm. I do like Pixar. Um, but I will I will be bold and spin again. Fortune favors it. So uh, you're spinning again. Here's what you are stuck with. And it worked out for you. You land on Spinner's Choice. Okay. Um, do you need the categories again? No. Uh, let's go Bond. Okay. Nick, you want to go ahead and give Jake his questions in Jimmy Bond? I would be delighted. Jake, are you prepared for your questions in the category of James Bond? Boy, I sure hope so. All right. J Jimmy Bond. J Jimmy, sorry. Jimmy Bond. No disrespect to uh, Mr. Bond. Your first question. What was the first Bond film to feature Felix Leiter? Dr. No. That is correct for two points. Your second question. In Octopussy, what game does Bond play with Kamal Khan at the country club where he uses Kamal's loaded dice to win? Baccarat. That is incorrect. Uh, Brittany, chance for a two-point steal. I believe it's backgammon. That is correct for a two point deal. Should have checked. Okay. All right. Jake, your third question. Who plays Brad Whitaker in The Living Daylights as well as CIA correspondent Jack Wade in two Brosnan Bond films? Joe Don Baker. That is correct for two points. Your penultimate question in Bond Inspector. Why did Bond go to Mexico to kill Marco Schiara at the beginning of the film? Uh, 
Multiple choice. Okay. Your multiple choice options. Is it A, M told him to in a video message? B, Skiara had helped kill Vesper? C, Skiara had kidnapped Madeline? Or D, Skiara was selling a bomb to terrorists? It's A. A is correct for one point. As soon as I heard. All right, Jake, your final question. Bond puts a bomb in a briefcase full of what at the beginning of Die Another Day? Diamonds? That is correct for two points. All right. Jake gets his total up to 14, but with the steal, Brittany is up to nine. Correct. All right. So we will bring back the wheel for Brittany's turn. Brittany, this is your first spin. Look at that. It lands on opponent's choice. Nice. <laughs> no need to consult the wheel. Horror icons. All right. Brittany, I will be giving you your questions in horror icons. Are you ready? Sure. <laughs> Which Halloween film features Michael escaping from the back of an ambulance after he causes it to crash at the beginning of the film? When I go multiple choice, be safe. All right, your options are A, Halloween 2, B, Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers, C, Halloween Resurrection, or D, Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. Can I have my gut C, as in Charles? That is incorrect. Jake yeah. Chance for a one-point steal. Your options, again, are A, Halloween 2, B, Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers, C, Halloween Resurrection, or D, Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. Glad I watched this abomination for a reason. D, Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. Uh, film is an abomination, but that is incorrect. Um, for B, Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. Hold on, let me think. I don't know if that's... Because uh, he does escape. Uh, I'm thinking about maybe issuing yeah. a challenge here. Because I believe he does escape from the back of a tr like a like a truck or and it's not a truck it's like a, a van or like an ambulance uh at the beginning of that and he like crushes the dude's face against the dashboard um so you in a challenge you might not say it's an ambulance uh cuz it's like a coroner no, because I think it's a coroner's van, not an ambulance. So Okay. All right. So we will move on then. Uh, Brittany, your second question. In Friday the 13th Part 8, Jason takes Manhattan. The boy who lost his boxing match to Julius is killed in what specific type of location on the ship? A sauna room? That is correct for two points. Your third question. Who plays Alan Smith, Quentin's father and a counselor at the high school who, li who led the charge to kill Freddy in 2010's A Nightmare on Elm Street? Let's go multiple choice. All right. Your options are A, William Sadler, B, Bob Gunton, C, Clancy Brown, D, Tim Robbins. Can I go with C as in Charles again? That is correct for one point. Your fourth question. How is Lori connected to Tommy Doyle in the original Halloween? She babysits him. That is correct for two points. <laughs> And a tie game, if I'm not mistaken, Nick. That's correct. All right, Brittany, your final question in Horror Icons. In Jason X, which part of his body does the young Azrael lose when the group finds Jason frozen? Hmm. Let's go to multiple choice. All right, your options are A, I, B, foot, C, tongue, 
D arm. A. A is incorrect. Mm. Jake, chance for a one point steal. Your options again are A, I, B, foot, C, tongue, D, arm. I love this movie so much. It's his arm. That is correct for one point. So at the end of uh, round number two, uh, we got spinners and opponents galore, but we have a close game nonetheless. It is 15 to 14 in favor of Jake. Is that what you have, Nick? That is correct. All right, so we're going to move on to round number three. It's the betting round. Here's how it's going to work. We are going to say a category. Then you two are going to have to decide whether you want to bet zero, one, or two on the question. You get the question right, you gain those points. You get the question wrong, you lose those points. We will play until someone is mathematically eliminated or the score reaches zero. Any questions? Okay, the first category that you two can bet points on is going to be Mission Impossible. Are we good players? <laughs> now that we're done with our song. Uh, Jake, we'll start with you. Let's go one. And Brittany. Zero. Okay. The question is... In Mission Impossible 3, from what city do Ethan and his team attempt to rescue Lindsay Ferris from at the start of the film? Uh, so do you have any other Star Trek shirts? Tons. <laughs> I have a shark on my shirt. Oh, and that's misrepresentation because you aren't a shark. Three, two, one. That's fair. Pens down. Let's start with Brittany, who bet zero. I just guessed Paris. And Jake. Between a couple. I said Prague. It's incorrect. We were looking for Berlin. Okay, that was not one of them, so that's fine. <laughs> so, uh, Jake losing a point. We are now tied 14 to 14. What's the next category, Nick? Your next category is Fandom Oscars. Dun, dun. Oh, uh, there's that's not the song for Phantom Oscars. It's like the playing off song. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I was about to do a countdown. Uh, we're good with bets. Yes. Brittany, we'll start with you. Uh, two. And Jake. Two. All right. Both going big. What's the question, Nick? Your question is 2020's Mulan was nominated for visual effects and what other Oscar? I have, I so through all my editing, I've also noticed that every time you solo host, when this category comes up, you just go, I hate to bring it up every time, but uh, this category sucks. <laughs> just like, I just die. <laughs> but I, and I kind of love it. Mine and Phantom wow. Oscar's relationship started wow. where like I wanted to be nice to it, but now I just what? I hate it. Pens down. That's fair. Uh, we'll start with Brittany. Uh, between one of the two, I put production design. And Jake. And I put best costume design. Costume design. Mm -hmm. Correct. So Jake goes up to 16. Brittany loses two, goes down to 12. It's now a four point game. Three questions remaining. The next category is the Wizarding World. And we'll get that starting with Jake. Two. And Brittany. Two. All right. The question is In the Prisoner of Azkaban, what class does Professor Trelawney teach? Did you know I once lost a point because I put the L in her name in the wrong spot? Well, that means you're wrong. So. I know. I was very upset with myself. Where'd you put it? I think I said, like, I did it after the W instead okay. of, like, like, I did, like, true Lonnie or something like that. I don't remember what I did. But I was mad at myself. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's start with Jake. Divination. And Brittany. Divination. Both are correct. Both earn two points. Still a four-point game. Two questions remaining. What's next, Nick? Nick's mother has entered the room. Father? Brother, step son, 
Dad. Your category is Pixar. We both good? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's get bets starting with Jake. One. And Brittany. I got you, two. All right. Nick, are you good to give the question? Your question in Pixar. Who coaches Cruz after she takes over the race in the finale of Cars 3? This movie sucks. Yeah, it's not good. You know what other movie sucks? Which one? Uh, Zoolander 2. Yeah. Not Not good. good. Not good at all, actually. Five. Four. Three. Repeat the question. All right. It's going to be Jake's first repeat. All right. Your question again. Who coaches Cruz after she takes over the race in the finale of Cars 3? They made three of these. Yeah. And they're making a show. Uh, we only have two Incredibles movies, and there's three Cars movies. They only have one A Bug's Life movie. <laughs> three. What's a bug? One. A bug. Ooh, bug. Pens down. Let's start with Jake. Pick the one Cars, not just the one Cars movie, the one Pixar movie I've never seen. So I just said Lightning McQueen. And Brittany. I also put Lightning McQueen. You both are correct. As we get into the final category, which is Star Trek. And that's starting with Brittany. Two. And Jake. I I have to be zero here. All right, your question is... How many Star Trek films were released in the 1990s? Were, you were released in the 1990s, I think. It was. Yeah, me too. Did uh, did three to five for uh, murder, and then they released me. Yikes. <laughs> Woof. Five. What are you going to do? Four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's start with Jake, who bet... Zero. Four. And Brittany. Four. And your winner, Jake Melker. Uh, oh. The answer is four, but Brittany uh, couldn't quite catch up there mathematically. Final score of 19 to 18. Very, very close game. Really good match, Nick. What'd you think? That's not the score I have, but it was definitely a one point game. Um, well done all around. Uh, good. <laughs> Every, they both played uh, fantastically. Uh, Brittany navigating opponent's choice very well. Uh, and Jake capitalizing on, on his spinner's choice. So uh, great match to watch. Uh, excited to see what happens next. Absolutely. So, Nick, I'm going to let you take over post-match uh, interviews here as we start by talking to Brittany. Cool. Brittany, as I said, uh, you clearly like the horror to a degree. Uh, I, I do not. It's, it's very yeah. scary. Um, how, how, how'd you feel about that round and, and overall playing? Uh, yeah, I put some effort into horror, obviously. Um, so I felt pretty good with it. I definitely, uh, I definitely need to watch some more. And my biggest issue is a lot of them seem the same to me. So they're, yeah, they're also not my cup of tea, but I'm working on it. Very fair. Uh, like I said, you played really good against Jake. Uh, this (laughs) unfortunately means you're out of the tournament, but we will see you post tournament. Uh, we already know who you're playing, but just for funsies, uh, now that you've, you're sort of more established, you've played in other leagues, uh, you've got a bunch of wins over here. Is there anyone you're looking to play? Uh, I, I'm i hoping – I don't know if you're going to give me Tyler, but if I get Tyler, that'd be great. Um, but there's a couple other people, um, like uh, Garth, but did pretty good. Uh, and uh, – oh, who's the other one? Mike Shea. So around people like that. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Well, we will see what we can do. Uh, congratulations. I think you made uh, Club Dread proud today, and we will see you again in the future. Great. As we bring in our, our winner today, Mr. Melcher, also doing his faction proud. Uh, it's what I would call the, a barn burner, uh, sir. I don't know if you would agree. Uh, you did fantastic. Um, how are you feeling? Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I, feel, I feel great. I mean, I... Um, I knew coming in that Brittany was going to be an incredibly difficult opponent and she lived up to all the hype that everybody else has uh, given her, 
that I myself have given her. Um, she, for lack of a better term, killed it in round two, uh, not doing as well as I expected. I also have done a lot of horror icons uh, studying lately. So, uh, but yeah, no, she was absolutely fantastic. And I really feel like uh, there were a couple of, there were a couple of questions. I, uh, the, the Bond one in round two that I missed, that she stole for two, I should have checked down. But uh, overall, I'm happy with my performance. Um, I'm like, it's, it is all gravy from here because I know coming up, I'm gonna, if I thought I had my work cut out for me in this, in this match, Boy, howdy! Uh, next time around, it's uh, this, this, I, I'm gonna have trouble. Speaking of next time around, yeah. uh, this you, you won. This does mean you will be moving on to round three of the tournament. And you will be playing the number seven seed, Mr. Cameron Holtzman. Thoughts yeah. on uh, that matchup? Well, I get to play him in Warzone first, and now I get to play him in Fandom. So we're gonna get to know know each other real well real soon. Um, He's sort of like the, uh, what's the word? He's sort of like the prototype for the sort of player I want to be, where I'm competing at a high level in both Warzone and Fandom. I think he's the best at it. I mean, being a top 10 seed in both tournaments is nothing to sneeze at. I think he's a phenomenal player. And he's really hard to prepare for in both uh, because his knowledge is so... It's so vast, and the categories he knows are ones that nobody else does. So I know I'm going to really have my work cut out for me, but I have absolutely nothing to lose. So I'm just going to go into that one really loose. Obviously, I'm going to try my best, but um, uh, I don't really. It's If I lose, not a big deal because he's a great player, and uh, I know how bad he wants it. So... I get we. I think Brittany and I gave y'all a show today, so hopefully uh, can do it next time. Absolutely, you both certainly did, uh, and congratulations on coming out on top. We will see you in the next round. Uh, but for right now, take us home, Tim. Yeah, no, great match uh, that had me on the edge of the seat. Uh, you know, going back and forth with the lead a lot. Um, both players kind of playing at the top of their game. Um, props to both of them; they both killed it. But uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the next round with Jake uh, and which uh, player can come out on top. So it'll be very interesting, but for Jake and for Brittany, Nick and myself, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Phantom fights uh, round two of the tournaments uh, winding down round three, starting up very soon. So be on the lookout for all those matches. We'll see you real soon with the next one. Bye-bye. We are so glad you came. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye now. Bye. Bye-bye. Remember, please discard all candy wrappers and popcorn containers in the nearest trash receptacle. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. Are they all gone? Uh, is, is, there, is everybody gone? <laughs> huh? Good. <laughs>